हेलो एंड वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो ऑन हाउ टू कंट्रोल फूड कॉस्ट फूड कॉस्ट जो है रेस्टोरेंट क्लाउड किचन वगैरह में नंबर वन कॉस्ट होता है और इसको हम मुट्ठी में कैसे लगाए ये देखेंगे आज के वीडियो में एट की स्टेप्स टू कीप द फूड कॉस्ट इन कंट्रोल नाउ फ्रेंड्स लेट इज जम्प राइट इन एंड अंडरस्टैंड वॉट द फर्स्ट थिंग ओके पहला चीज जो होता है यू विल हैव टू परचेज योर रॉ मेटीरियल यू नो वेजिटेबल्स ग्रॉसरीज मीट्स एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा एट द बेस्ट प्राइज पॉजिबल ओके नाउ इफ यू आर गोइंग टू बी नॉट डूइंग दिस ऑब्जिलोटली वॉट एवर यू नो योर कॉस्ट ऑफ रॉ मेटीरियल इज हाई एन यू फूड कॉस्ट इज नॉट गोइंग टू कम इन कंट्रोल सो कॉन्स्टेंटली आप मार्केट सर्वे करें कि कौन सा आइटम कहाँ पे बेस्ट प्राइजेस पे मिल रहा है एंड इट हैज़ टू बी फ्रीक्वेंट एफर्ट ओके जब प्राइस बढ़ जाता है तो आपका वेंडर उसको बढ़ा देता है तो कम होता है तो आपको बताएगा नहीं तो यू विल हैव टू कीप अ चेक इन द मार्केट एंड ऑल्सो इफ यू कैन गेट सम बाय अ वेंडर्स फ्रॉम होम यू कैन बाई विद अ स्टैंडर्ड प्राइजेस ओवर लॉन्ग पीरियड्स ऑफ टाइम यू नो एनुअल प्राइजेस एक्सेट्रा शुरू शुरू में मुश्किल है बट येस बट इफ यू गेटिंग गुड वॉल्यूम्स देन Yes, it's possible to get uh, annualized prices from your vendors. अगर हो सकता है तो market fluctuations will not affect your cost. Okay. So uh, first and most important thing is to make sure that you are purchasing your uh, raw material at the best prices. Okay. Now, second thing is आपका recipe cost क्या है and what are your portion sizes. Okay. You will have to make sure that you standardize your recipes. arrive at your recipe cost and define your portion sizes kya aapka curry 300 ml mein jayega 500 ml mein jayega you know your uh, uh, rice items if your breads what is the portion sizes uh, what diameter of is your pulka and you know things like these you will have to define them to the greatest detail to make sure that you arrive at your proper recipe cost now uh maintaining it closer to the recipe cost is going to be a great way to make sure that your food cost is in control but first step that you need to do is to make sure that you define your recipe cost which happens from standardization of your recipe and defining your portion sizes so the second point is uh, recipe cost and your portion sizes okay. now point number 3 is uh, you will have to get your pricing right uh appropriate menu pricing okay if you have to learn more about how to uh, plan your menu click here and there's a video that i have made only on menu planning but once you plan your menu you will have to price it well you want to go with the market pricing or uh, markup pricing or hybrid model uh, obviously your cost percentage you know the food cost percentage varies you know greatly between 25 to 35% Thirty uh, percent is something you can think of it as a, a standard. Okay, uh, if your volumes are higher and you can go down to twenty-five percent also. Uh, again, also based on uh, what market segment you want to operate in. Okay, so it's a function of all the three, but broadly thirty percent is the yardstick you can keep in mind. Um, but to get that, you will have to price your product appropriately. You know, be it your biryanis or pizzas or whatever menu that you are serving. Okay, uh, make sure that you price it correctly. Okay. The fourth point, जो है, is KOT control. That means a kitchen order ticket. Okay, uh, most of it is digital now. Uh, very few outlets are still managing the physical or KOTs. But having a KOT. kitchen not issuing food without any kot has to be a practice standardly in your restaurant or cloud kitchen okay uh, har ek ke liye kot banna chahiye bagair kot ke khana dena hi nahi chahiye kitchen se okay not just for your customers okay even if the owners are taking out food make sure you raise a kot we call it in this business uh, nc kot no charge kot but hisab to rehna hi chahiye aap अगर खुद के लिए भी ले रहे हैं और किसी दोस्तों को फैमिली को फ्री में खाना दे रहे हैं तो भी अगर किचन से खाना निकल रहा है तो वो के ओ टी कंपल्सरी प्रिंट होना ही चाहिए ओके सो मेक श्योर दैट यू हैव ए स्ट्रॉन्ग के ओ टी कंट्रोल दैट यू ऑडिट ऑन अ डेली बेसिस टू मेक श्योर दैट द फूड इज गिवन आउट फ्रॉम द किचन 
only after the KOT is raised. Okay. That is point number four. Now, point number five, which is important, is her roj daily food cost report every day. You must be taking it out. Okay. Most businesses I have seen, you know, are not doing this on a frequency of every day. You know, if you get a report which shows what is your daily food cost report and what is the food cost report month to date, you know, it obviously on the on the busier days uh, when you have higher volume, food cost will be lower. Just in Monday, Tuesday, if the sale is less, then food cost is a little more. But it will average out because some issues are given to the kitchen. Kitchen might not consume the whole thing that day. They might use it the next day. But month to day. अगर आप दस तारीख को देख रहे हैं तो दस तारीख का आपका क्या सेल है क्या कॉस्ट है और दस तारीख तक फ्रॉम फर्स्ट टू टेंथ व्हाट इज योर फूड कॉस्ट ओके द व्हाट एवर इज यू नो यू कैन ओनली कंट्रोल समथिंग दैट यू मेजर वेरी वेल ओके अगर ये फूड कॉस्ट रिपोर्ट जो है आप हर रोज नहीं निकाल रहे हैं तो एंड ऑफ द मंथ वॉट यू कैन डू इज ओनली पोस्टमार्टम देर इज नो वे यू कैन कंट्रोल ओके टू कंट्रोल द फूड कॉस्ट every day food cost report is mandatory okay now the next thing that comes into the play is uh, your spoilage and uh, wastage okay spoilage can happen uh, even in your stores if it's not stored at the right temperature uh, 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 not properly ventilated and stuff like that even it can happen in the kitchen uh, pre cooked or even after cooking okay so you will have to have some mechanism to control uh, spoilage uh, storing at the right temperatures uh, not uh, uh, overcooking you know uh, maybe the batch size in which you prepare food has to be uh, planned well um, and obviously uh, wastage okay now both this will come into play um, in your food cost so how effectively you are doing the uh, control on the spoilage and wastage will also determine your food cost now if you are already taking your food cost report every day and monitoring uh, uh, your spoilage and wastage do comment if you are doing it on a daily basis or how frequently are you doing it and is it helping you okay next is of course pilferage okay pilferage kya hota hai pilferage can be in many ways okay uh, agar at the first instance you can say uh, suppose uh, you are giving the food away the counter or the kitchen is giving the food away to uh, somebody and not charging at all that's also pilferage okay or uh, charging uh, collecting money but not accounting that's also pilferage and of course uh, staff uh, consuming food meant for the guests is also pilferage okay apart from uh, just in case rare cases where staff taking away food back home okay all this is pilferage and uh, there are many things that you can do to control pilferage okay um, especially your costly items like meats paneer you know desserts you know um, of course staff in every food business uh, gets uh, uh, their lunch and dinners uh, as a part of the uh, system itself so now uh, make sure that you know you give them something exotic once a week once a fortnight whatever your frequency and uh, have a strict system to monitor cctv can help to some extent okay um, i can't say all the time but yes it does help you know, create some fear your chef has to monitor closely some restaurants and hotels especially bigger hotels have a debit system where somebody you know caught with a, a guest food is billed three four times the uh, billing charge you know not to earn money but to make sure that um, uh, some fear is instilled that this is not done okay so uh, pilferage uh, is something that you need to keep an eye on if you are liking all these points that i am sharing with you please do press the like button uh, it will be more motivation for me to make videos on different subjects um, and last and the most important thing okay is increase sales nothing nothing can bring your cost down like a high volume of business okay uh, a <clears throat> if you for example you know i have seen that on the days like as i'm telling you you know monday or a tuesday when your sales are lesser your food cost percentage looks higher similarly a saturday sunday or holidays when your sales are much much higher uh, your food cost percentage comes down so this tells you a clear idea that the best way to control food cost is to make sure 
that you keep increasing your sale a lot okay uh, you need to keep doing all the other things too okay but definitely okay increasing sale is going to help you cut the food cost down because of the volumes okay i hope you liked all these points that i've shared and if you have not already subscribed to the channel do subscribe to the channel and click on the notification button to make sure that you are notified as and when we create a new video okay uh, so these are the key points to make sure that you keep your food cost in check It's the number one cost in the business apart from uh, rent salaries and fuel so if you can bring this one big cost in check uh, it will help you become profitable okay uh, thank you so much for watching the video and i'll see you in the next one